I had a question raised to me, how do I eliminate steepness and chunking it, etc. Well, basically, as humans, we all want what we don't have. And so for uh, the players that own the inside and you add more dropping the club in behind, this just creates all sorts of havoc with having the time, you know, preventing from hooks. So those people have a different deal. They, they could add a little bit more steepness, a little more out to the ball. For the guys that are already leading with their shoulders, well, they need to learn something, a different pattern. The problem is the same, though, for everybody. Where does it come from? Where is the club driven from? It's driven from the core. So if we can learn how to tune into what the rib cage is doing, that proximal distal relationship to the task of sending a ball, then it's going to help everyone. And so basically, we have our vectors. I put another one here to illustrate where the sacrum is going to flow. And so the club is energized with your core. And as I said with the chain, the distal parts, the shoulders, the hips, the legs will respond in kind to what the core is sending. So as I am to withdraw the sword from the stone, I do it with core rotation. It'll affect the hips, and it will slowly affect the shoulders this way. So as the club comes up, it has now risen, and I draft in behind. It's still flowing behind me. Now, my chest is here. My hips have fallen towards the lead vector. My goal is to rotate these ribs around and up on that lead vector. So that's the goal. Ribs took the sword out of the stone. They flew, the club flew up. I draft in behind. Now I'm following the ribs, and the ribs are working this side up. So I can even stand open to get the feel of flowing around this rear vector going to the lead vector. Pretty much like that. <laughs>